Whether you need to retrieve files, provide tech support to a friend, or simply work from a remote location, Chrome Remote Desktop has got you covered, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. To begin, open your Chrome browser if you haven't already. If you are not using Chrome, you will need to install it because this feature is exclusive to Google's browser, okay? All right. This is super simple, but we want to take you step by step through how to get it set up. So there's a little bitty thing you got to download and install. It's basically the host controller. If you go to this website, remotedesktop.google.com forward slash access. Okay, so it will take you to this website. Okay, we want to do remote access and we are going to set that up and we are just going to click this download. Okay. So it will just take you to the Chrome Web Store. I'll just need to click on Add to Chrome, okay? And then this pop-up will appear and I'll just click on Add Extension. So our extension will be downloaded in a while and now it's done, okay? So it says that please run the installer from the status bar or downloads folder. So I'll just click on the installer. So now you need to enter the name of your computer, okay? We are just basically naming this computer so that if you happen to set this up on multiple computers, you know which one you're going to access, okay? So we are just going to call it as like Surface Pro, okay? Then I'll just simply hit next, okay? So now we need to choose a pin, okay? I'm going to choose something super simple here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then we're going to hit this start button right over here. Okay. So now you can see that my device is online. Okay. This device. And what this does now is it starts a remote session with this computer so that I can remote into it on any other device. You're not going to have to go through all of the setup and an install process again in the future. It's just kind of the energy to go whenever you need it. And it's important to note how you're going to handle your remote host computer, okay? So if you're going to leave this thing sitting there all the time, you can't let it turn off or go completely to sleep. Now it can go to its lock screen and that's fine. But anything that would kind of cause the whole thing to shut down basically or hibernate or any of those kind of things, you are going to have to avoid those. Don't let it go to sleep or completely turn itself off or else you're going to be at home trying to remote in and this thing's never going to wake up. So let's move over now to the other machine and show you how easy it is to go through and actually hop into this particular device. So all right, I am on my second device and here what I need to do is I just simply need to go to remotedesktop.google.com, okay, and forward slash access you are going to make sure that your account that you have picked is the same account that you have Chrome Remote Desktop set up on. It's obviously all synced via your Google account. So once that is done, you are going to see right up at top your remote devices that you can go into and click anywhere on this. You can see it's currently online, okay? And if you just click this thing, it's going to start that remote session. Now it's going to ask for the pin that we created. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I just need to click on this button and here you see it, okay? We have got the actual screen from the Surface Go right here, okay? Uh, I have like two monitors connected there. So this one is the first one, the main, and this one is the second one, okay? So I can like do anything if I want here, okay? So that's really good. I can just change the options like I can just select one display, like which is the main one. Here you have it, okay? There is an option like you can just download the file from that device or you can upload it from here as well, okay? But just click on download some file. So it says like which file you have to download, okay? Suppose I need uh, an image from here, this image, okay? I can just simply open it and download start it, okay? So when you're finished up, you can actually click this X, okay? This cross button on the top 
uh, to just come out of this, you can see that your file is being downloaded over here, which we tried to download, okay? And what you can do, you can just simply go here and just click on disconnect. Make sure and hit subscribe so you can be updated when we make new videos like this.